Hey, hey, this is Malaika and I'm on a journey to lose about 200 pounds and hopefully encouraging you along the way. And it's that time. So I am down over 50 pounds now. And like I said before, I wanted to share some progress pictures and measurements and things like that. So we can see what that change looked like over the last few months. So without further ado, let's get right into it. So first up, like I said, I finally hit over 50 pounds down. When I first started the weight loss journey, I was 333.6 pounds and I got on the scale Sunday and I was 282.6. So that means I'm down a total of 51 pounds. Woohoo! And if we take a look at the measurements, so I never took measurements in the very beginning of my weight loss journey because I just didn't want to. I just don't like to. <laughs> just being lazy, really, to be honest. So um, I didn't take measurements until December 15th, which was when I did my walking one mile for 14 days challenge. So I did take measurements at the beginning and end of that challenge. So this was about a little less than a month into my weight loss journey. So I'm sure the measurements weren't that off from what they were when I first started. But, and then in the middle there, for May 22nd, that was just some measurements that I took around the time that I did the dance workout challenge. And then January 15th, when I hit the 51 pounds down, I took the measurements again. So from the beginning, um, you know, my right arm was 21 and a half inches and then now it's 20.5, so that was down one inch. So I'm not sure what's up with the right thigh measurement. Um, at that time, I when I measured it, I said it was 30.8, and then when I just did it again recently, it was 31.25. I probably just measured in a different part of my thigh, um, but it did go down a little bit from May, but from the beginning, that's actually showing an increase. So like I said, I'm not sure what was up with that measurement, but I probably just measured in a different spot. My right calf, 20.5 inches, and then now it's down to 15 inches, so that's down 5.5 inches. My waist is 51.75 inches, it was, and then now it's down to 46.25, so again, that's down 5.5 inches. My stomach, I could not even measure in the beginning because it was over 60 inches. And I was like, yeah, so that's five feet. My stomach was more than five feet around. <laughs> so that's pretty terrible. But uh, I couldn't measure it at that time. So, but in January, when I just did it again, it was 54 inches. So I just had it down 66 inches from the 60 inches. Um, but really, we know it's over six inches down. And my chest was 52, and now it's 46.75 inches, so that's down 5.25. My hips were 57.5, and I actually did butt measurements in May and now, so I don't really know exactly uh, what those particular measurements were, but in May, it was over 60 inches, so I just took it from there, so that's down 6.75 inches. So in total, I have lost 30 inches, so super excited about that. And I mean, when you're looking at each little section, like I said, when I look in the mirror, I don't see the difference, but seeing that the inches are down and then looking at these pictures is when I really notice it. So looking at my face, I can definitely see a difference in my face. When I did before and afters of my face before, I didn't notice much difference, but now I can see that it looks slimmer. I can see like my chin has a little bit more definition um, there as well. So uh, I'm excited to see the changes there in my face. So I do actually notice that this time and before I didn't really notice it. 
So in my front pictures, you can definitely see that I'm not as wide. My stomach isn't poking out as much. Oh yeah, and on this particular front picture, for some reason in November, I never took a front facing before picture. So this is actually one from December when I did that walking challenge. So this was about, I don't know, two or three weeks after I had actually started the weight loss journey. So again, it's not going to be much difference from what I looked like in the beginning because it was only about two or three weeks later. But looking at the difference like before and now, you can definitely see that, like I said, I'm not as wide. My stomach isn't poking out as much. So that's really exciting looking at that front facing photo and from the back uh yeah so my tank top's always crooked <laughs> so just ignore that but look at the difference in how my tank top fits now versus before so the first pictures before the second ones after or second ones now um it's a lot looser now um than it was before and again you can see like more definition in my waist than you could previously so that's exciting and then also my bottom looks smaller as well so yeah and here is the biggest difference you can see from the side pictures um obviously my stomach smaller than it was before again you see the tank tops looser the coloring's just a little off between the two but the uh, tank top is looser. You can see that my arm has gone down. Um, I still have a lot of weight in my arms and, uh, you know, it's, but I have noticed that it's not as full. Like when I'm doing my exercises and doing motions where my arms are up, it's a lot more flappy <laughs> than it was before. So, um, yeah, so my arms have definitely gone down and again you can see even in my face that you know it's not as puffy and yeah it's just looking good so I'm so excited about these changes and I can't wait to see in 50 pounds what that's going to look like from the very beginning and 50 more pounds so I'm excited to see that so I'm so excited about the changes it really took for me to see it in the pictures for me to actually notice the differences because just looking in the mirror and you know I saw it on the scale that it was changing but looking in the mirror I couldn't quite grasp the change but once I saw the pictures I really saw it and understood and I talked about in the last video some things that I was going to change and some things that I was going to keep the same uh, this year and for the next 50 pounds or so but I wanted to share some NSVs and some things that have happened off the scale so one of the things that is really neat is that I could actually fit my bracelets now. And before, um, so I used to sell jewelry before, and I really couldn't fit the bracelets, you know, unless they had like an extender. But like the stretchy bracelets or the bangles, I couldn't fit. And of course the stretchy ones would go on, but then they would have that, you could see the string because it would be stretching so much. So that was a big one for me a few months back when I saw that I could actually wear my stretchy bracelets without them being overstretched and also able to fit some of the bangles that I've been wanting to wear. So that was one NSV for me. The other one was I can fit a lot of the clothes that I couldn't fit previously. Like I have bought some clothes that I thought were my size and come to find out they weren't my size. You know how like manufacturers, their sizing is a little different. So I wasn't able to fit them or either I was disillusioned into thinking I was one size when I was another. Um, however, I am able to fit a lot of the clothes that I couldn't fit before. And if you happen to see this short, that's what I was kind of referring to um, in that short, like all those clothes that I had that I couldn't fit. Well, I can actually fit them now. Um, as a matter of fact, I'm wearing one of the dresses right now and it fit really well. Also, I had a jean jacket on with this that I couldn't fit before because the arms were like way too tight and then um, I couldn't even really get my other arm in because it, was, it wasn't it was wide enough or my body was too wide for the jacket. But now I can fit it comfortably and even like with this dress, I noticed there's even a little bit of room in the back. This dress zips up in the back 
um, so I couldn't zip it before and now it zips and I can see there's even a little room in the back so that's another great NSV and um, just in general as far as like my health and my physical activity I notice I can do a lot more things um, for longer than I could before um, I still get tired you know when I'm leading exercise and doing that but I don't get as tired as I was in the beginning so that's been huge um, to know that my heart and my lungs are getting stronger. And also with my weight going down, that's less uh, weight that my body has to move around when I'm doing the exercises, so that's great. And the last thing, which kind of is an NS, it is a scale victory, um, is that once I got under 300 pounds, I never went back over. So that was a big one for me, seeing that what I was doing is sustainable, it's simple, and it's working out for me. So that was a really big one for me that once I got under 300 pounds, I never went back over because in the back of my mind, that was one of the fears of mine. So those were some huge things. So let me know down below what I should do to celebrate this 50 pounds down. Um, something simple, you know, we're still in the times we're in, so I can't do too much, but um, I'm definitely going to do something to celebrate. Thank you so much for being on this journey with me. Um, I can't wait to see what happens at the next 50 pound mark. If you like this video and wanna support me, give it a thumbs up and you can leave a comment down below as well. That really helps. And also if you wanna follow along on the journey, go ahead and subscribe so you can be along with me for the next 150 pounds or so. All right, have an awesome day. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.